I've been waiting for this all freaking day. You know, at this point, you should know how the schedule works right now. But anyways, hello internet, it me, Kikid484, and welcome back to Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, or should I say episodes, we talked like a pirate for International Talk like a Pirate Day, and we unlocked two endings. Uh, we unlocked the good ending, which is the K ending, which you see on the screen, and we pretty much went ahead and did the bad ending, because 100%. And, so, what did we get from K's ending? Well, much just like Clover's ending, we got more information. We not only did we no not only did we learn who killed the old lady, but we also got one of two clues to the mystery of the of the two-headed lion. So all we need to do is find that. Oh wait, and also we find out who Kay is. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. You gotta watch the episode to find out. <laughs> so enough yammering. Let's um actually go back to the place where um. I said we were gonna go to because I think if we find the other if we find the other hint in this next path we might be able to clear the magenta timeline so let's see that would put us at the first ambidex game against Luna well, let's check the flow yeah here's where we are we're at ambidex game round one and we already allied. However, we can't really do much because, well, we're kind of stuck here. So, instead of allying with Luna, we're gonna break her heart, unfortunately, and go for Betray. So, let's see what happens when we uh, choose to Betray um, Luna. So, I'm gonna skip this card, but basically... Um, we argue with Fi because she just wants us to pick Betray, and we're just like, not until you tell us why. And then, like, literally at the last second, she tells us, because if we, if we get 1BT, we're screwed. And then we default to ally. Apparently. So, let's, uh, skip all of this. Choose Betray. Do, 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 do. Oh. So I'm guessing we didn't Betray? So we may have just voted the last second. So, fine, Fi. We'll take your advice and choose Betray. So, let's go. Oh, oh god! We're skipping! What the heck? Oh, did we, like... Hold on, log. What did hell... Okay. Alright, so it's just the stuff we've already seen. Okay, I thought we missed something important. No, wait, it wouldn't have done that because the options is set to that everything we've already seen is skipped. Okay. Kind of freaked me out there. Okay. So, as Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running towards the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Ten Miyoji was left behind. His footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? <laughs> Were you telling the truth? <laughs> if our BP hits zero, do we really- Well, you chose Betray because of what I said, right? Don't worry. You made the right choice. You better not have lied to me so I choose Betray. Well, Zero will tell you if I lied or not. Zero? Yo, what's up? Siggy! Fido! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. I know we've seen this plenty of times, but I like hearing Zero. You'll see in a minute. Let's go, Sigma. Hey, what do you mean Zero's gonna tell me? Hey, Fi, hold on! Damn it. If we end up breaking Luna's heart, we can blame it on Fi. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Ambidex game! Round one! The results! 
If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. God, that's cool. Okay. Uh-huh. Looks like Alice, Tenmyoji, and Luna on the chopping block. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sigma? Why did you and Fi do that? All we had to do was choose Ally three times, and we could all escape together. After this, we only would have needed two more rounds and we would have all had nine points. But now we... why? I hung my head. There was no way I could look her in the eye and try to explain what I'd done. They let Fi do it. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with Betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have nine BP after the second AB game. I know that. Is that why you chose Betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get out first or anything. Just wanted to have a little leverage. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else, and he... You're lying! What makes you think I'm going to believe that? Their eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. Yeah. Fi opened her mouth, then shut it again and looked away. I was about to apologize to Luna when... Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Well, no. That's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote Betray against Clover. Is that so? You never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? Oh. I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? If I were in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose Betray. Also, in an alternate timeline, when Clover betrayed you, you weren't this hostile, not to mention in the Kyan route, you betrayed us without a second thought. Miss, you really think I'm gonna betray someone when I don't know? But anyway, back to the story. Well, but it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? I was certain oh. you'd choose betray for that very reason. So that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. Ugh. It's alright. I understand. I'm so sorry. Oh, now she calms down. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. That was when I finally noticed Dio, Cork, and Tenmyoji. Oh boy. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is Whoa. to you, but if I were you, I'd trust that kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. Okay. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. So it's the same as last time. It looked like things hadn't gone as planned for the other teams, either. Nonetheless, we all seem to have reached some sort of truce. Zero, when does the next round start? 
Okay, so this is the part where he explains that after each nonary game, our bracelets get shuffled around, so we'll either we'll get a different color, and we will be paired. We'll either be a solo or be paired with somebody else. Then he tells us that it, like once our BP reaches zero, we die. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna skip all this text. What me? a lot of text. So like, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm guessing nothing really changed. Hold on. With Kyan. Oh, okay. So us being paired with Alice hasn't changed. I think that's just stuck like that. Normally this would be the part where he like, oh right, because Luna got betrayed in one of the timelines, I think. Hold on. No. Yeah. Yeah, cause like, I think in the Kyan route, Luna got betrayed by Clover and Kay, and so, yeah. Cause I know he'd slow down when like he would announce he was in the chopping block, but since Luna was already on the chopping block in a different timeline, that explains why he skipped it. So, none of this has really changed. Man, we can skip a lot. This is going to be a pretty short episode. There's no Let's skip. Okay, so now we're going to the part where um he got kidnapped and how we ended up here. And now we're at the part where we travel and we gather information. Of course, it'll be different since we betrayed Luna. So, let's go ahead and do that. First off, the lounge. Oh. Well, that was a pretty fast trip to the lounge. Oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Phi Luna and I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Wait a second. How much stuff can we skip? I'm curious. Let's go. Wow. We are skipping a lot of stuff. So let me just summarize all the stuff we just skipped. Uh, let's say... Da -da 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 -da. So basically we discussed some of the stuff we found, so let's see... Okay, so basically... We were discussing about the date because we found the article about the lunar eclipse. And Sigma mentioned that he fell asleep on Christmas. And so he assumed that today was the, the day after. But like, we, we learned that everyone was picked up on different days. For example, Alice was abducted on December 22nd, and Dia was abducted on the 20th. So everyone was taken on different days. Okay, so today may not have been the uh, 25th, and then we, um, they said they mentioned Shornish Cat, let's say, da, da, da. ah, they talk about the, um, Radical Six newspaper article, uh, uh, we think that we're in a quarantine facility, which is possible. This, then we just go into the infirmary. Wow. Now that I think about it, 
dialogue shouldn't change, except for, you know, Luna being upset with us. It just shows how long ways we've gotten. How's it going? Let's see how much stuff we can skip. Okay. So... Right, we're talking about, um, um... Okay, so this is where we, um... Basically talked to, to um, K, Quark, and Phi about the old lady and who would have killed her in junk. Meanwhile, K is sad because he lost his memory and, well, he's gotten used to his armor. Just like how a person gets, gets used to wearing glasses and stuff. And then we notice that there is a thing on the back of his head with, uh, with an open switch. So all we have to do is find the key and we can open it. So that's pretty much a summary of that. And now we'll go to the crew quarters where we will find, by process of elimination, let's see, Clover, Tenmyoji, and Luna. I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Okay, Cave's robe floats silently toward him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Okay, the dialogue has to be new here. Huh. So these are the crew quarters, huh? Skipping! Okay. So let's see, what was that little talk about Tenmyoji about? Okay, so basically we, um... We basically pressured- we basically cornered Tenmyoji and asked him, like, we noticed that he was asking him, we asked him, Hey, what's the deal? Why are you- you've been acting strange since we met that old lady. Tenmyoji is like, keeping his mouth shut, he's like, Oh, come on, man, don't you trust us? And he's all like, heck no. And then these two come in. No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. Okay, so we're just skipping stuff, basically. Oh! Okay! Man, we skipped a lot of stuff! So... Before we skip- we, we reach this dialogue... I mean, we can skip it, cause, um... No, cause it might be new dialogue because Luna's now on the chopping block. So it might be new. We'll see once I press the skip button. You know, once I read the log of our conversation in the crew quarters. Chromatic doors have opened. Nobody cares. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay, so they investigated, they didn't find anything suspicious. Um, basically Sigma is like, why are we here? Why is Zero making us put all, put all these puzzles in junk? Uh, okay, Elder game, Elder game, Elder game. Okay, so basically Sigma is like, why are we doing this? And then Luna suggests, well, maybe they're doing this to entertain rich folk because they're sick people in junk. But, um, we question... And then basically Tenmyoji you're like, what makes you think that if they just killed some old lady? And, and then Luna's all like, well, maybe she wasn't part of this whole game, or like it didn't like it wasn't supposed to happen, or it wasn't part of the game or something like that. And it's like, oh well, yeah, you're probably right, because if her like, no, that can't be it. Because like if her dying wasn't a part of this, the Robin would have said something. But we didn't get anything. So, something's up. So, we're pretty much trying to figure out who killed the old lady. And... Okay... Alright, this is the part where Clover gets, some, um, sus gets suspicious, because like, so yeah, we've noticed that her and Alice are getting close. It's like, oh, we're co-workers. 
at an organization. Well, that's pretty vague. And he's like, why, like, tell us. He's like, I can't tell you. He's like, why not? Because, um, because it's classified in junk and all that guy, and we're just fed up with it and stuff. And then, um, basically we get butt in by Tenmyoji saying that, um, time's up, and then we're here. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Ugh, you're late. What were you doing? <laughs> Sorry. An apology is not going to cut it. I can't go through that door without you. Zero said we'd get penalized if we didn't go through the primary door before it closed. Are you trying to kill me? N no, of course not. I thought you didn't need a partner to get through the primary doors, though. Are you kidding me? Think it through, Sigma. Yes, you can go through the primary door by yourself. Now, you're standing in front of the secondary door. The time limit comes, and the primary door shuts. Now what? Now you're stuck is what? Without the right number of bracelets, the secondary door won't open. Do you understand? There'd be no way to open either door, huh? Man, that sounds even worse than getting your lungs turned off. Sorry for worrying you, Quark. In any event, now is hardly the time to be fighting like this. As you can see, the primary doors have already opened. We must hurry and decide who will be going through which door, and with whom. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Okay. I'll just, uh... So that's option A. Um, just gonna leave that up on the screen in the bit so you can read it. Here's option B. Leave that just a bit so that way you can read it. And lastly, option C. I'll just put this up here so that way you can read it. So basically, nothing really changed. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay, so who's going to where? I'm not going with Kay. I had enough of that last time. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Well, that's Seems new. Not wanted. I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Hey, shut up. Damn. Aren't you my partner? Maybe. But I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. <sighs> you betrayed me last time, Fi. And Dio, you betrayed Tenmyoji. Ah, uh, come she on! Can't trust Didn't anyone. I tell you? It was Quark who... Dio! Stop saying that! Anyway, Fi and I won't be choosing Betray this time. Your BP's won right now, isn't it? If you chose ally and we chose betray, what would it be? Negative one. I'd die. I didn't want to say it straight out, but... Yeah. We're not gonna go that far just to get out of here. Right, Fi? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to take a chance on you. Luna, are you sure about this? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then that means Quark and I will be going with Kay, since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. I'm totally good with that. <laughs> what I did to Alice last time was really bad. I want to try to make up for it. So we're going with option C then? That means each group is going through a complementary door. Sigma, Alice, and Clover are going through the red door. Tenmyoji, Quark, and Kay are going through the green door. And finally, Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? Ten seconds remain until... No objections! Let's just go through the doors! 
If there were any objections, there was no time for them. Let's go! The announcer's voice filled the room as we ran for our doors. Three, two, one, zero. The best Chromatic one plan C is best plan. Closing. The best plan is when we're paired up with Luna. Okay, I just want to point out that this would normally be the part where I stop, but since we've made such blinding speed progress, we're gonna keep going. Until maybe Ambidex game round two. We'll just see what the clock looks like. So, anyway, resuming to the plot. Huh? Is this a dead end? There are three doors, but it looks like they're all locked. I wonder what this thing does. Well, it's got a lever. Can you pull that, Sigma? Sure thing. Where will we go this time? Hmm. Huh? Well, that's interesting. It opened the door on the right. Hmm. That seems kind of weird. I mean... Why just that one? What about the other two? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us the way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Without waiting for a response, Alice strode off toward the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. Oh, we're solving the puzzle of the pantry! This might be interesting. Whoa! This is amazing! Who'd ever need this much underwear? Huh? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? And there are a lot of boxes! <laughs> panties? Isn't that what it said on the door? Clover, dear, it didn't say panty. It said pantry. Pantry? It's where you keep food. Uh, oh, I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Clover. Her face had turned an especially amusing shade of red. What do you think that thing is? I'd say it's a water storage tank. It's totally full of water. The stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread, maybe a few pastries, but no panties. So just a whole bunch of food, huh? Clover was right that there's a lot, though. It looks like you could live here for quite a while. I'd have to agree. Then what do you think this place is for? Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. What? Didn't we tell you? About Radical Six? I guess that story really was true. You're saying that the reason they've got all this food and water is so that they can keep infected people here? That's ridiculous! I'm not infected with some weird-ass disease! Plot twist, we probably are. I don't want to spend the rest of my life locked up in a metal box! Me either. Giving us food is all well and good, but no spare underwear? That's unforgivable. S seriously How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? Hey! Panties is a serious business, okay? Right, well, we need to search this room. So let's get started. So we're gonna solve the puzzle of the panty room. I mean pantry room. That will never stop being funny. You know, I'm probably just gonna name this episode Lots of Panties. Uh, but yeah. 
It, but yeah, I'm calling it right now. We may have been infected with the Radical Six. Because, uh... <laughs> ah, that ending. Ooh. But then again, it's a virus, so it spread, so... Maybe we got it from Quark. Who knows? The only way we'll know is if we played the game. So anyway, let's just go. What do you think this machine is? The bottom part looks like some kind of dolly. It's got this 5x5 five five grid of metal boxes. Full of different colored panties. Ah, this joke will never stop. The top row's empty, though. Yeah. Do you think we're supposed to put something in them? Panties. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. We're, I don't know what we're supposed to put in them. Well, not something, I guess. Probably more boxes. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. What's this thing? <laughs> I wonder what this thing is. Well, it's full of ice cubes. Do you think maybe it's an ice machine? It's pretty big for something like that. Maybe it's an industrial ice machine. These look like handles, right? I wonder if you can lift it open. Let me give it a shot. Erg. No good. Won't even budge. Is that the Oh, the safe. What's this? Button parts. And an empty beaker. Okay. These are some pretty impressive shelves. That's a lot of pre-packaged food. There's a bunch of instant coffee and boxers of tea. Uh, you mean boxes, right? <sighs> some of the pictures on these boxes look really tasty. I wonder what's under the wrapper. Underwear? If you heard that, that was the sound of my hand making physical contact to my face. <sighs> this is gonna be a fun episode. <laughs> Under there! Shut up! <laughs> ah, jeez. So these are all drawers, huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know if they're gonna make that pun, but I'm going to laugh if they do. Yeah. Tons of them. Um. Wow, how many are there, I wonder? 366. What? I said there are 366 drawers. Hold on one second. Okay, we're still on air, because I, I just received a thing saying that it's not- the internet's fucking up, so... It looks like we're still good. You just looked at them and figured that out? No. I did math. Yeah, she did, um, width times height. They're divided into four sections. Each row is numbered 1 through 14. In other words, there are 14 rows in each section. The columns are labeled with the letters A through G, so you get 7 columns per section, and 4 sections mean 28 columns total. Now, each section has a few spots where there aren't any drawers, right? Well, specifically, there are 26 of those spots. So you just calculate 24 times... You, yeah, you calculate 14 times 28 minus 26. And that's 366? Right. You did all of that in your head? Of course. It's pretty simple stuff. Pretty impressive. Oh, jeez. Hey, this is from a calendar, right? Yeah, it looks a little weird, though. Hey, we got a calendar. Wait, I think there's something written on the back of it. Oh, yeah. There is something back here. Huh. Let's check that out. This is the 
first half of the year. Okay, this will make sense of it. And this is another hint. The day the man was abducted. What man? Oh, hey, the screen lit up. It looks like it's designed to turn on when you touch it. I think we need to type something in. Yeah. Let me give it a shot. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't get it. I don't get it either. What's this thing? Well, it's got a faucet, so... I'm guessing it's the water? I think it's connected to the water storage tank up there. So you use this to pour water? Yeah, there's a drain too. Oh yeah, in the middle here. Uh, Sigma? Don't you think you could use that here? Oh, the beaker! But we don't know what to use it for. We don't have enough clues. Green star. Maybe it's not on? It looks like there's a card slot right underneath it. You think there's maybe a connection? So we gotta get a card slot somewhere. Oh! Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Basic water, basic water, neutral water, acidic water, <laughs> fractions? Oh, they could be dates. No, I think these are pages from a day calendar. The blue ones are Saturday, and the red ones are Sundays. So the black numbers are weekdays. So we got, let's try 11 11 and see what we get. is a Saturday. November 11th is a Saturday. July 30th and May 7th are Sundays. January 13th and March 27th are weekdays. Okay. Pad out because, uh, ah.
Those are some terrible looking jokes. So January 13th. It's a weekday. March 27th is a weekday. Monday specifically. So we have a Thursday, a Monday, two Sundays, and a Saturday. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, that's Sunday, 7, 30. Oh, that's on the other. Okay, and 11, 11 is... Right. Good day the moon. Okay, I feel like we need to like, do it with this, um, water thing, but I'm not sure. Hey, Sigma. Yeah? Didn't you just find something you can put water in? Oh, she's talking about the beaker. Hmm. I feel like we don't have enough stuff. Ah! What is this? Why the hell do they put a cabinet back in a corner like this? It's really hard to get to. Agreed. It's got a sliding door. <laughs> Alright, let's slide it then. Oh. What's this? A binder? It's got a couple pieces of paper inside. We probably ought to hang on to them, huh? A nutritional management chart. A nutritional balance chart. Huh? You see this red button? I think it keeps the wheel in place. So if we push it, it'll unlock? I think we can move this thing if we release all the locks. Sounds good. Let's get to it then. Okay. What did this add? Alright. All the wheel locks should be released now. Good. Let's see if we can move this thing. Thing. Okay, let's have a look inside. Huh? What's this thing? There's a binder here, too. And this is... what? Some kind of chemical? Let's take that binder first. A pH scale. And now the chemical. A pH detected. Hmm. This is a chemical for testing pH. Um... You can use it to test how basic or acidic something is. Didn't you ever do that in school? Oh yeah! I did that in school. It was interesting. You put it in water, and the water changes color depending on the base... the basicity or acidity. Blah. Alright. So that's why we got basic water and acidic water. Oh. Oh, pull this out. Hey, there's something in the drawer. Huh. Wonder what it is. It's a little piece. I think it's a button. But what does the button go to? Oh god! Whoa! What are you doing? You broke it! The warm drawer. Whoa, what the hell? This drawer is warm! That's ridiculous. Why would a drawer just be... You're kidding! It really is warm! What's going on here? You took this out of the dolly, right? Yeah. Then maybe it's for heating food up. Someone could have used it recently, so there's still some residual warmth. Whoa. Well then. Is this 
need a button? I think we need to get our button out. Speaker. Oh, there we go. Should be in there pretty good now. Yeah, looks good to me. Well, why don't you go ahead and push it? Push it. Did you hear that? Yeah, sounds like the lock open. So we can open it? I'd assume so, yeah. Hmm. So we can open this? Oh! Put the ice up there. Huh. So it is supposed to open. Oh. It's empty. I wonder why. It looks like it can open it from both sides. See? I think you could do that from the front or back too. Then there's no hint. It's just one huge lid. It's just sitting on top of the bottom. Hmm. Hey, does it look like there's something inside that ice cube to you? Wait, what? Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can get it if we can get to it. Well, we won't just be grabbing it, that's for sure. This glass is in the way. How about dropping it through that hole? Hole? There's a square hole down there, see? I think you just need to slide the ice cube into it. Into where? I don't see what they're talking about. How? I really have to explain it. Alright, fine. Just pay attention. Oh, I can slide the ice cubes by using directional buttons. Move the ice cube. You can slide full, but there is a limit to the number of each one. Once you... Okay, got it. Oh! Like, we need to get that... Like, here's the thing, hold on. I feel like we need to get our ice cube somewhere around... yeah. in place. So we can do this. Yeah. And it should freeze over there. Yeah. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, so... Basically... Huh? Okay. Ah, yes! Yee! <laughs> Ha! Huh, it worked! Good job, Sigma! Open it up! We should be able to get that ice cube now. Oh. oh. 
It's an ice cube with with a visitor ID. It's got a a card of some kind. Looks like it's about the same size as a credit card. Do we get it out? Maybe we could throw it against a wall or something? No, that might damage the card. So you just want to, what, wait until it melts? There's gotta be a faster way. Maybe put it in the warm drawer? Yeah, it'll probably melt eventually. That's a waste of time. Just stick it back in the dolly. Okay. Um, alright. Gotta put the drawer and the ice back inside. Oh, you hear that? It's probably warming up right now. We should probably keep an eye on it. Oh, dick. Sounds like it's done. Open it up and have a look. Hey, look! The water from the ice melted! Ah! Hot! The card's underneath the water. Okay, here goes. Ah! Uh, are you okay? Just kidding. Really? Dick move. There we go. Visitor ID card. Okay. So we can just stick you in here. Slide this baby in. Yeah! Go for it. H hey, what's going on? Looks like it's on now. Why is the screen red? Do you think something's wrong? Wait. It says something. Number of ration boxes is insufficient. Please rectify. Cannot verify presence of acidic water. Please rectify. Cannot verify presence of. Okay. So we need those stuff. Let's begin with the nutritional stuff we got. Okay, so we got beauty products, drinking water, ionized water. Okay. Didn't we get another? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can barely see that. Ah, oh, jeez, this is a lot. the water first. Beaker, 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 beaker. Let's fill this beaker. I wonder if we can combine this with the protection. Oh, it's green. Be a seven or a six. pH color scale we got. It looks like the pH of the solution is 6. This is the water you got from the zero button, right? Right. The water you got when you pressed the zero button had a pH of 6. That would mean... So if you push the one plus one button, then you get pH 7? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. And we needed neutral or basic, right? Yeah, basic is the neutral is drinking water, so we need a pH balance of stuff. So you go down to drain. 
neutral. Whoa, you're right. That means it's not acidic or basic. It's just right in the middle. Oh, maybe we can just... Okay, I'm back. Got me some beans, but I can't ye eat them now because they're too hot. So let's see. <sighs> Face of water. Face of water. I think we just need to hit the um the nine. I think ten is too basic. You don't want to be too basic. Plus, it only gets hits plus three anyway. So does that mean we're supposed to put basic water in here? I wonder what makes it so basic. Okay, and then we fill this with basic water. Okay, so maybe we need to get the dates. Let's see. So we need January 3rd. January 13th. So January 13th. <sighs> Come on. Oh. We can't go up? Wait, what? Now we're supposed to get these boxes! Oh, 
Um. Oh yeah, this thingy. Okay, so one. Right, these must be the letters of the alf of the um, um of the um, um uh, of the uh of the days of the week. Uh let me see. This guy is January thirteenth is a Thursday. So Thursday. Thirteen. Fail. But yeah, Jan we need January thirteenth. And January thirteenth is 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 the fifth one. So E, right? January 13th. And A is the columns. Oh, the rows. So it would be E3. Okay. Because the letter is the column, but the number is the row. Did it work? Look at the shelves! Huh? The shelves! The drawers! Whatever you want to call them! Huh? Whoa! So we can get it out? Me! Okay, what's our next date? Let's see, our next date is... March 27th. Let's see, so... March 27th. That's the last row. So, B. Another one! It just popped out! That's when you just type these in and, you know... So... 5... so... May 7th. Then 
and we have 7.30, so we have July 30th, it looks like. That is a A one two three four five six A six Another one. Ah the other one went in! Ah jeez. Uh Oh no no Okay we're good. Oh jeez. I think the last one is uh, November 11th. November 11th. So that would be G1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. G6. Perfection on a stick. Yee! I don't know what's so perfect about this because I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I kind of do, but like, it's not perfect because, you know, I'm doing this blind and all that. But then again, you could be referring to something else that's perfect. Alrighty. So we got all our stuff. Let's just collect the spoils. We got pasta rations, soup. Veggies, for salad, and fish. Now I guess we can look at that nutritional thingy. Okay. So it looks like a box lunch nutrient balance. A lot of bread. And I guess. Okay. So, like, what happens if we just put this stuff in here? Oh! Look at the screen! Yeah. Hydrates, protein, and fat. Hmm. Hold on one second. Carbohydrates. <laughs> ah! This one's okay. Huh? Mm. Oh jeez, so much stuff. Also, these beans are hot. Looks like we need to match those. the archives. The day the man was abducted.
day the man was abducted. This is gonna bother me. We can't mess with this one. This one's fine, but looks like others need more than just the balance. So, yeah. hmm. That's this is gonna be a toughie. I'm guessing like more people prefer like more meat. Okay, so I think we just need to fix this to the chart we have. So he has 10. I think the archive is telling us something different. It's telling us. Ah! Hold on. Curse me for, for being nearsighted. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like the B, person B needs 9 feet. So, he has 10. So let's see. What can we take away? We can replace. Take away 1. Or we can take away 3. We can switch the fish with the, with the, with the soup. Let's see, so take the fish. Soup. And then there's the fat. Ah, oh, jeez. We got the meat right. We, got the... we need the seven seven carbs. Seven carbs and four fat. So we need to get rid of the... So we need to give him some salad. He needs salad. So let's see, let's also give this guy... Salad. Ah! What's the fattiest food on here? It's the meat, looks like. It's the orange, whatever the orange is, so... Let's see with salad.
Oops, we need... Oh, jeez, we had one fat, uh, soup. Give him another salad. Put them carbs. Switch. Let's just give him another salad. Oh, well, this is right. So I guess that's one down. Ah, jeez. Okay, so. Give them all the salads, so no soup, none of this. Okay, so we got... Let's see, how unhealthy is this guy? One, two, three, four, five. We need to get rid of one. Or we can swap two for one. Swap two carbs for one. So we can swap a fish for a soup. Oh. Okay. So I guess we're just messing with these two now. Hmm. Freaking rabbit. Uh, let's see, what's out of whack? We need one protein. We need carbs. Yeah, I think we just need one protein. Yeah, we need to gain one protein and lose one carb. Let's see. We can sweat a salad. For a soup. Yeah, let's try that. Let's help a swallow for a soup. Soup. Well, that didn't work. What's his do? That's a lot of protein. Uh, what are your charts looking like? You're C, so you need to be 10. And you are way past- you are 11. So we need to get rid of a protein. So let's see. Can we try switching the meat or fish? For like, soup? Process of elimination time. <sighs> let's look at C. Let's try and solve for C. So let's see. For C, we need 8 carbs, 10 protein, 9 fat. Now, where are we? We have... We need more carbs. We need more carbs, a lot less fat. A lot- Ah! Oh no! Okay, let me look at the screen, cause like... It's like, it's okay, so it's two purples over there. Ah, jeez. Um... Yeah, there was two purples over here, so... Yeah. Two purples over there. 
Oh, I forgot what this one was. Um, I think we got rid of a fish. We did not get rid of a fish. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Hmm. What was that other one? I know there was like two fishes here, but what did we swap it with? Um. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. Hmm. He has a balanced diet. We know that's not it. Oh! Didn't we do that last time and it didn't... Grog! I just solved the shit out of this puzzle! Okay. Hey, um, aren't you getting a little too excited? Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out. Uh, did you see the screen? Oh! You did it! So we got three suns. Okay. I f but what about the other one? Wait. Hmm. I'm gonna check something. The day the... So, okay, so this was on the back of the calendar. And we used those to get the lunches. So, another... Maybe it has to do with the date. The day the man was abducted. Hmm. Wait a minute. What if, like, the date was they're referring to is the day that one of us got abducted? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. We know. Yeah, we know for a fact that we got abducted on Christmas. Maybe we should try that. So let's see, that would be 1225. Uh, 12... 25 is a weekday, so... AB13. So let's try that. What'll be in B13? Maybe we get a special lunch? Oh my gosh! Whoa! So this is how we get our secret password? There's one problem. This screen shuts off after a set amount of time. N no! We need to be fast! I can do it! I've got a really good memory! All I need is a moment. Okay. Sun, moon, sun. Well? Did you memorize it? Indeed I did. It's locked away up here. Phew. What a relief. Oh. So it shuts off whenever we find the safe path, the secret password. Okay. Well, we got our stuff. You know what we do. Passwords! So we're gonna do the secrets, because I like secrets. So sun, moon, sun. Ah! Getting smart with these secrets. There it is! I can't wait to read it! <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Huh? So we got cooked food one. Cooked food two, 
have a nice blah blah blah. I'm guessing the nice the things that um, Zero the Third would say. Free the soul. Myrmidon, Myrmidons. Brother. And bracelet three. Hmm. Let's see. Cooked food. Twice cooked pork. <gasps> We've heard about that before. From the from the 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 the, 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 the cabinet. The Chinese yeah, the Chinese room. From the Chinese room theory. So yeah, look. Twice cooked pork. A Szechuan dish. It is made by pan frying pork, cabbage, bell peppers, and green onions with Dobang Jin or Tian Mian Jing for flavor. Okay. Paella. A Spanish dish where one cooks rice, meat, seafood, and vegetables in a shallow pot. Season with saffron. Nazi goreng. An Indonesian dish made with pan fried rice seasoned with sambal, kikap manis, and tarasi. Yeah, some of these need spaces. Schnitzel. Rada rada. <laughs> ah, that made me laugh. A German dish. It is made by mixing together meat flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs, then frying the mixture in butter or lard. Well, that's pretty fattening. Yuk Gai Zhang. A Korean dish. The process involves stewing beef, vegetables, namul, and powdered chili peppers together very slowly. The resulting meal is very spicy. Yeah, you're mixing powdered chili, ch ch chili peppers. Borscht. A Russian dish. Preparation is very simple. You just stew meat and vegetables together for a long time. The finished meal is garnished with beets and sour cream. Huh. Tom Ka Gai. A Thai dish made by stewing chicken, chili peppers, ginger, and nampula and coconut milk. Very spicy. Chef's pasta. Whatever the chef feels like making. Okay. Sometimes you don't know what it is until you take a bite. Sometimes you don't even know then. Hmm. I should try some of these. But I don't have the cooking skills. Maybe one day I'll look it up and see if there's a restaurant that makes them. Ah, the word 03 says before he leaves. Here are a few variations. Have a nice trauma. Have a nice trace. Have a nice trumpet. Okay, I think we've heard have a nice trauma before, but trace and trumpet, those are new. I can't wait for him to say trumpet. Oh, what's this? Free the Soul. An emerging religious organization with a rapidly growing membership. Some figures claim their congregation members over a million in countries around the world. Originally, the organization called itself Free the Soul of Why but later dropped of Y to become simply Free the Soul. The founder of the religion is known only as Brother, and his true identity is a mystery. Only a small number of the highest ranking members have ever seen him. The doctrine of Free the Soul demands that its adherents separate themselves from the world, free themselves of lust, and release their souls from their physical bodies so that they can be purified. Huh? Its followers believe that they will be born again as a new race, and that the world will be transformed to a place of equality, with no conflict or poverty. Considering how a peaceful world of equality with no conflict or poverty usually plays out, of, out in movies, they seem like a pretty scary group of people. Wait. Release the souls from their physical- Hmm. Something tells me that Quark is a member of this Free the Soul. Or at least his parents are a member of Free the Soul. And... Yeah, because it's kind of like in Mirai Nikki where like, one of the players had um, parents that was part of a religious cult. So maybe that's what I'm guessing Quark's deal is. His parents are part of a religious cult. And so, he's kind of part of it? I don't know. Because he didn't mention that stuff when he was going all nutso. But yeah, 
this is a pretty weird group. Like, seriously, with the founder being brother, I honestly thought it was gonna be like a, a Soul Train-esque kind of cult. Free the soul! Of why? Mere Madons. Free the Soul is a powerful new religious order dedicated to establishing a new world order, and the Myrmidons are their elite, frontline soldiers in the secret war. The general public knows nothing about the Myrmidons, but their actions have put them on lists of intelligence communities across the globe. Rumors say that all Myrmidons have the same face, suggesting that they may all be clones of a single person. No one knows where this rumor comes from exactly, but I can tell you that it's a very credible source. Hmm. Maybe these are like the terrorists that Clover mentioned in her story. Whew. Brother. The founder of Free the Soul, although he prefers not to be referred to as such. As a child, he had a younger brother whom he was very fond of. Unfortunately, the worst happened and the younger brother was murdered. Rage and dispelled in despair filled brother, and for nine days and nine nights he was consumed by his own misery. On the morning of the twelfth of the tenth day, however, he had a revelation. Mankind was rife with base desires and needs to be purified so that a new world order could be could come to being. God had spoken to brother and given him a mission. Brother dedicated his life to realizing that mission, and at the age of 26, he established Free the Soul of Y. He claims that Y is a symbol for miracles. Wait a second. I just had an epiphany. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh. Oh boy. I would say something, but it would spoil the K ending. But, I think... But, if I'm reading this right, I think I know who, like, I think there's a Mirmadon in our case. I'm not gonna say who it is. And for those in the chat, if you know who it is, give me a mouth. But yeah, I think I know who the, who, who, I think there's a Mirmadon in our, in our party. And I have a feeling who it might be. Oh boy. Trust, like, if you want to be in the know, just, just watch the K ending. It'll all make sense. I don't know who it is. But I have a theory. And I hope it's true. Hmm. How can I say this without spoiling it to you, Cody? Um... Let's just say, it was the- remember, there was one person in the K ending who says that they couldn't say anything because they were given orders. Just think very hard who could have said that. Oh, and here's some information about the bracelets. Here is some information that isn't revealed in the game. The bracelets put on the left wrist of the nine participants in the end begins has an important feature that never that was never mentioned. As soon as it's put on, a needle on the other underside activates and it inserts itself in the wearer. Oh, so there's a there's a needle in us right now. Ugh. That doesn't necessarily mean that it injects a drug, only that it activates and pierces the skin. Maybe there's something on the needle. Or maybe there isn't. All that's certain is that when someone pulls on the... All that's certain is that when someone gets put on the bracelet, they get poked. Hmm. Okay. So, like... So, like, say somebody died, and their bracelet falls off. That means we'll see, like... A p we'll see the insertion on the underside of their wrists. Hmm. Oh. Oh. 
Anyway, we got all the secrets, and I made up my theories in junk. And let's just get the other one. It was three suns, I think. Yay! Piece of cake. Alright, let's see what we've got. First is... A map! It says Floor B. The one we found in the infirmary said Floor A. Yeah, so did the one in the lounge? Yeah, so did the one in the lounge. Then that would make Floor A the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down to get here. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. These must be... Key cards. Also, there's also an important note that's not in here. Uh, those in the chat, I'll give you a bit to um, uh, realize what it is. You have until we are done examining all this stuff to figure it out. They have moons on them. <laughs> then these have to be the cards the announcer was talking about. We've got two of them, just like with the sun keys. You take one, Clover. Huh? Why? Well, you're a solo, right? Alice and I only need one. Oh, right. Got it. Now, what have we got left? A key. Is that the exit key? Yeah, it must be. This is our ticket out of here. Uh, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, by the way, time's up. The answer was we didn't get the piece of paper that told us um, that everybody must vote, or at least one person of each color must vote, or else everybody dies. Is the paper talking more about the rules that's missing again? Yeah, the one that Dio didn't know because... <sighs> it's the one that pretty much stops... It's pretty much the only thing that Dio... Basically, we're gonna relive that same scene where Dio jumps the gun and starts the Ambidex game. So anyway, let's just get the heck out of here. Where do you think you're going? Oh, that's the other door. That's the door we came in through. Okay. Okay, so we just go through this door. It's the one that got Bio. Get Dio was forgetting. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Do it. Three, two, one. that door before? I don't remember. An ambidex gate has been opened. There it is. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling Man, closes. I kind of just want to stop him, but we're not paired up with him. The gate's been open? One of the other teams must have done it. It was Dio. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Oh. Whoa. Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. It was Dio. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. Dio. Huh? Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? Hmm, why is that? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? Oh no. He's gone. He went missing. On gone? the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our keycards and left, but on our way out, he just disappeared. 
So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there. No, that's not it. Look at this map. So they went through the green door, and then they worked their way around it. Well, they took a crazy long way. Oh, so you go through the green door in the treatment center, and eventually you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh, well, maybe he went back to the other floor already. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. We've got a better chance at finding him with two pairs of eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about all this. It's cool. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll leave Flore to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Ten Miyoji and I head through the blue door while Alice, Clover, and Kay climbed into the elevator. Okay. Whoa. What is this? This is the place we were with in Clover's ending. What is this place? Uh, it looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Hmm. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. Whoa. So we don't tell him off, we help Ten Miyoji search for Quark. Interesting. Damn. He's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Ten Miyoji's face was drawn, and the knuckles of his fists were white. Need some lotion? He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Huh? Suddenly, he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. I put a gentle hand on his shoulder, and guided him toward the exit. How old is Ten Miyoji? He could be like, thousands of years, right? So this is the Floor B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other one. It's pretty close, I'll give you that. A couple differences, though. Have a look over there. The doors are... shining? No way! Are these... chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go tell the... No, first we look for Quark. But... Look, I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to floor A for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. Alright, let's go.
Hmm? Oh, it's just you. Oh, I'm you. guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Oh shit, he's panicking. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? what? <laughs> That's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey! This is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him, too. Uh... Why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling what a glass hell? of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! Yeah, there's... What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Oh boy. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. Why do I feel like it's gonna bite him in the ass? The air grew thick with tension, but before their tempers managed to set it all right, Phi burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. Huh? We found something. Come what? on, all of you. Oh, God. Did something happen? Just... You'll understand when you get there, alright? Now, come on. Oh, boy. Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. Oh, no. This is... Oh, God. It's this part. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. No. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Different inflections there, Zero Three. There was a roaring in my ears. Breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sound muffled. As if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Luna's was the same. They're... They're dead. Both of them. By then, everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Since silence filled the room, flowing into my ears and throat like cold, brackish water, a chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before, when we discovered the old woman. But this is different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me, but Alice and Luna I had known. They'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who... who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. 
None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. Also, she was the first it's one to find the body. easy to see she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. <laughs> Stop it, Dio. And the AB game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Who was Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. What do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, yeah you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping. If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? Yeah. That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? The Supero. Oh, yeah. That white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There, there must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. That huh? would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Dio, knock it off. That's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We got ten minutes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. All right, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Come on, we've got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Shut escape. up, Dio. That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose Betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Whoa, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. My god. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Ha! Oh, this is definitely getting interesting. This fucker's the worst! Right. We should get to the Floor A warehouse, guys. Come on. Hey, Clover, can you choose ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose betray. 
But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points, and then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get nine in the next round. Clover? Yeah? I said I want you to choose Ally. Okay. You'll choose Ally too, right? Of course. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. Uh, Clover? I wasn't sure if she'd actually understood me, but given the effect on Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. Hmm. I was preparing to enter an AB room of my own when I heard Fi's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Fi. Something up? Hold on one second.
Okay. <sighs> Alright, uh... Oh, what's going on in the comments? Oh god, he must be talking to himself. It's just like the last game. With Clover, I mean. And now for the weather. Jim? Thanks, Jim. I'm currently at the center of the sun right now. Boy, is it hot in here! I'm beginning to regret going to going on that two-week vacation. Still dry. Back to you, Jim. And all the badgers thankfully died. And now for the weather, Jim. But Jim, I just did the weather. Really, Jim? Yes, Jim. Didn't you see my previous comment? Uh. Oh, right. There is. Sorry, Jim. It's fine, Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna head out for the coffee shop. It's called Starbucks, right, Jim? Yeah, it is, Jim. <sighs> this dork. Anyway, sorry for the wait. Just took him with nails. So anyways, if I wanted to talk to us, let's see what she wanted to say. Something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round. Her vote will default to ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are going to choose Betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left. But she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait, you mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're gonna be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP... I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? She's right. You gotta make a choice here. The number nine door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have eight points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover? Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? The prisoner Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... Know that you're important, somehow. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now too, you know. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he chooses ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. It's almost time. Remember what I said. You have to choose Betray.
She looked me in the eye until I nodded, then turned and jogged to her door. By the way, I was back. Oh, auto. Hmm. We're in a tight situation. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promise I'd choose Ally, so that's what I'm going to do. But Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm going to be stuck here forever. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven. By the way, I wasn't laughing at, at at the situation. I'm laughing at the chat. I left for like a second to talk to my roommate, and I came back and thought my headphones finally kicked the bucket. That that made me chuckle. But anyway, back to the suspense. What the hell am I supposed to do? Three, two, one. <sighs> Jeez. So let's see. If we if we choose to ally with Clover, then we'd both get ABP, which means Dio and Phi would escape. And Hmm. I think Dio's gonna try- we're gonna trigger a dead end if we choose to ally. Something's telling me that. Plus, he's been getting a lot of attention recently. So, this might be the result of a Dio ending. The question is, what are we gonna learn? And what happens if we choose Betray? Because if we choose to betray Clover, then we get 9 BP. We can use this opportunity to stop Dio from breaking... from breaking ahead. Because, like, even if he tries to jump the gun and leave, it's two against one. He'll have to fight both me and Fi. And, judging from what I'm seeing of our models, we're pretty built. And he's kinda lanky. Hmm... So... I think I'm gonna end the episode by choosing... Betray. I know we're breaking our promise with Clover, but... Dio's being a real asshole and I don't want him to win. Cause like, I wanna see what his deal is. So... Next, so right, um, before I start doing the whole thanks for watching thing, I just want to say that there will not be an episode on Sunday. I will be out of town. So, the n wait, now you can't say that the next episode will be Tuesday because that's when Dong and Rampa comes in. So, wait, oh, another talk on Discord? Yeah, I can't, not this night. I gotta get ready for my trip. So, not tonight. Also, Danganronpa is going to be out next week, so I'm going to have to work on a new schedule. Like, depending on where we are on the flow when we choose this, there on we might have another episode of Virtue's Last Reward Tuesday. Yeah, I think we can just do another episode of Virtue's Last Reward on Tuesday, cause like, I'm thinking, like for Virtue, like I want to stream Dong and Rumpa V3 too, so like I want to do Virtue's Last Reward on Sundays and Tuesdays, and I'll do Dong and Rumpa V3 on Thursdays and Saturdays. So, <sighs> that was a mouthful. So, um, thank you guys for watching. 
I'm sorry if that- I'm sorry if you didn't like the- the sudden pause moments at the, at the end, but, you know, family matters and food comes first. So yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that way you'll be notified every time a new episode comes out. And this is extra, but you can follow me on Twitter or you can just look at my stuff on DeviantArt. And with all that being said, I'm gonna hit the betray button and I will see you guys Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. See you guys later. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed.